As we look back on the history of this epidemic, it's hard to say that there's any one moment when the tide began to turn. Because the truth is, we have been turning back the tide of AIDS step by painful step for 30 years. And at nearly every turn, it's the activists and their communities that have led the way. It was activists and communities who devised safer sex, promoted condom use, needle exchange, and virtually all the behavioral prevention we use today. And it was activists whose deep understanding of the communities most affected by AIDS has spurred a movement to promote the health and dignity of gay men, sex workers, and drug users that has now reached every corner of the world. This has been a movement that came together in anger, that thirsts for justice, that is fundally, fundamentally about unleashing the power of human solidarity, and that for 30 years has forged alliances to expand that solidarity and be ever more inclusive. I pledge that the World Bank will work tirelessly with all of you here to drive the AIDS fight forward until we win. And I challenge you to join me in harnessing the moral power and practical lessons that the AIDS movement has produced to speed progress against that other global scourge, poverty. We know that development challenges are interdependent, and yet our approaches to these problems often remain fragmented, limiting our vision and our results. That's why the idea of bringing lessons from AIDS to poverty reduction is crucial. By breaking down silos between these two efforts, we begin a process that will go much farther. Looking back over the last 30 years, we see that the AIDS response has generated continuous innovation, from the acceleration of drug approval protocols to task shifting within medical teams, from fixed dose drug combinations to the hiring of accompagnateurs to deliver community-based services. We'll need more innovation in the years ahead to finish the fight against AIDS. As president of the World Bank, I want to infuse that same appetite for innovation into the struggle for inclusive economic development. I'm convinced that if the practical know-how and the spirit of the AIDS movement can be brought to the fight against poverty, there is no limit to what we can achieve. The AIDS movement has rekindled values that show the kind of global development we're striving for. Development grounded in solidarity, courage, respect for the dignity of all people, and an unrelenting demand for justice. If we unleash the power of these values, we can overcome any obstacle in the fight for economic and social justice. If we unleash the power of these values, we can leave to our children a world free of poverty and AIDS. We can end AIDS. We must end AIDS. The challenge we face is great. But I, as I look out at all of you today, I can actually see the end of AIDS. Thank you very much. Let's make it happen.